सो इन दिस रिकॉर्डिंग आई हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन वर्कर पॉपुलेशन रेशियो प्रपोर्शन अनएम्प्लॉयड अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट बेस्ड ऑन प्रिंसिपल स्टेटस करंट वीकली स्टेटस करंट डेली स्टेटस सो इन केस इफ यू ऑलरेडी नो सच थिंग्स सो इन दिस पार्ट इज ऑल्सो थियोरिटिकल इन नेचर सो इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन हैव अ लुक एट दिस कोड एंड यू कैन स्किप द वीडियो बट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दीज आर कैलकुलेटेड देन यू कैन वॉच दिस वीडियो सो ऑल दिस डेटा आर अवेलेबल इन द पी एल एफ एस रिपोर्ट सिंस आई एम वर्किंग विद द पी एल एफ एस रिपोर्ट दैट्स वाई आई थॉट इट्स वेरी वेरी क्रूशियल टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड वट प्रिंसिपल स्टेटस सब्सिडरी स्टेटस करेंट वीकली स्टेटस करेंट डेली स्टेटस मीन्स सो लेट मी शो यू लेट मी टेक यू द डेटा ले आउट फाइल सो दिस इज द डेटा ले आउट फाइल इफ आई कम टू द इंडिविजुअल लेवल डेटा वेयर इट इज इट इज हेयर सो दिस स्टेटस कोड इज फॉर प्रिंसिपल स्टेटस principal activity this status code is for subsidiary activity then we have uh, this status code are for current daily status and we have something called current weekly status so all the data are available here how to use this to calculate labor force unemployment rate i have talked in this video theoretical only in the coming videos we will see on strata happening live so oh. as so in the part 1 we have talked about unit level data what is micro data application of weights how with the help of weights we can estimate for the whole population what are household key what are individual key how to merge them this all were theoretical then in the part 2 we have seen how to download the micro data how to interpret the data we have seen nic code nco code and plfs report so we have downloaded all the relevant files in the part 2 by the way this is the second time i am recording the same video because when i recorded for the first time there was some issue with my hardware so it the sound quality was not coming it to be appropriate so that's why you will see i have already written all this so forgive me for this so there is uh, in this recording i will be talking about labor force participation worker population ratio proportion employed unemployed and unemployment rate so these are the codes and from where this codes have came let me show you so this all file we have downloaded and we have seen this uh, this all our file coming from mospi website itself so uh, yeah this is for current weekly status but it doesn't matter so 11 to 72 these are called employed 81 82 unemployed 91 to 98 are called not in the labor force right so this is how it has been defined okay so labor force means those who are employed as well as those who are unemployed but they are looking for the job divided by total population into 100 okay worker population ratio means number of employed person divided by total person into 100 so i'm just reading it out so you can take a pause and look at it so these are the key indicators now let me take you to the reports Mm, no okay so so this is a report of employment from ilo let me see okay so you will see upss labor force participation rate upss likewise let me come to this annual report plfs annual report so here also unemployment rate based on ps plus ss so you may be wondering what this is so this is what we are going to talk in this video so for the key indicators we have mainly 
three ways to calculate one is called usual status which consists of principal status plus subsidiary status okay and there is something called current weekly status and the last one is current daily status all right so now first thing first what is unemployment so unemployment is a situation in which a person who is able and willing to work at a prevailing wage rate but fails to find a job let's say if i am getting a job for 200 rupees but i am thinking that i should be getting 800 as my wage although i am willing to work but because the wage rate is not enough for me hence i will be called as unemployed right now for most of the cases whenever someone says that in india the unemployment rate is 4% so it it doesn't means that out of 140 crore people 4% are unemployed no it means those who are part of labor force labor force means those who are employed as well as looking for the job out of these people 4% are unemployed let's say for example i am a student and i am not looking for the job will i be called as unemployed no i will be called as out of labor force all right so first thing first so first was principal status so for this the reference period is 365 days and you should be part of labor force and major time criterion so major what does it means so for example in a year we have 365 days then you should be available for work for at least 182 days or more than that let's say if i am available for more 182 days and i have found job for 91 days then i will be called as employed okay i have worked for 91 days now take another situation in which i was available to do work for 200 days but i have found job only for 95 days then i will be called as unemployed reason being my major time criterion has not been fulfilled so just read this under this those people who are included in the labor force who were available for work or working major part of the reference period of 365 days so let me take you to documentation mm, okay so this all files we have downloaded from this must be website itself so where was i so if i go on page number 20 uh, no, 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 no. maybe not here okay let me move to 88 maybe so it was in block 5.3 principal status this is block 6 Oh, 5.1 okay all right so see this so during the reference period were you available for the major time which means more than 82 days yes if you are not available then you are not in the labor force okay so if you are available for more than 182 days so when you were available for more than 182 days if you have worked for uh, ha more i mean more than 91 days then you are called employed and if you have worked less than that you then you are called unemployed i hope you got it now this is a table so this is given in months so this will help you clarify things more so out of the labor force nine months but he was available for nine months which means he is here right for nine months three 
थ्री मंथ्स एयर नाइन मंथ्स एयर विच मीन्स फॉर मेजर पार्ट ही इज अवेलेबल एंड बिकॉज फॉर मेजर पार्ट ही इज इम्प्लॉयड हैंस बिकॉज फाइव इज ग्रेटर दैन फोर ही विल बी कॉल्ड एज इम्प्लॉयड राइट नाउ अगेन फाइव प्लस फोर नाइन हेयर राइट बट बिकॉज फाइव फोर इज मोर बिकॉज फॉर द मेजर पार्ट ही वॉज हेयर हैंस ही विल बी कॉल्ड एज अनएम्प्लॉयड बट ही विल बी कॉल्ड एज एम्प्लॉयड अंडर सब्सिडरी स्टेटस नाउ आई विल कम टू दिस ओके सो इट हैज हैंड ओके सो लेट्स कम टू सब्सिडरी स्टेटस सो वट हैपन्स हेयर ऑल्सो द रेफरेंस पीरियड इज थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज ओनली बट लेट से यू वर नॉट अवेलेबल फॉर मोर देन वन एटी टू डेज लेट से यू वर अवेलेबल ओनली फॉर नाइन्टी डेज एंड यू हैव वर्क फॉर मोर देन थर्टी डेज देन यू विल बी कॉल्ड एज एम्प्लॉयड नाउ द सेम एग्जाम्पल यू वर अवेलेबल फॉर टू हंड्रेड डेज बट यू हैव वर्क फॉर नाइन्टी फाइव डेज ओनली देन यू वर कॉल्ड under principal status you were called unemployed because major criterion was not fulfilled but here because you have worked for more than 30 days you will be called as employed okay so now uh, there was a quiz although it has already been written here so obviously unemployment rate will be lesser when you are taking into consideration this subsidiary status right because you are counting those people also who who have found the work within last 30 days so let me show you so this is the annual report and if i go on to table number 18 all right so this is for age group this 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 for all age group principal status subsidiary principal plus subsidiary all age group the unemployment rate for all over india for both rural plus urban plus total male female it's 3.2 and for principal status it's 4.1 for all age group right now we have current weekly status so those people who have worked at least one hour in a week are called employed so even if you have worked for 55 minutes which is less than 60 minutes you will be called as unemployed there is no round off concept if we have worked half hour this day half hour next day then also you will be considered as unemployed so let me take you to the documentation so this was instruction to field field staff i guess on page number 98 if a person was engaged in work for at least 1 hour on a day 60 minute or more the person will be given work status code 11 to 72 on that day okay so this 11 to 72 is coming from here so 11 to 72 is called employed 81 to 92 is unemployed and 91 to 98 are called out of labor force lastly we have current daily status so under this same reference period so for daily if you have worked less than 1 hour you are called unemployed if you have worked more than 1 hour but less than 4 hours then you are called half employed partial unemployment so if you have worked more than 4 hours then you are called employed so that's all for this video so basically labor force are calculated on the basis of usual status principal plus subsidiary current weekly current daily status unemployment rate is also calculated likewise even worker population ratio is also calculated likewise so let me show you at the end this from this annual report itself so if i write unemployment uh no okay maybe let's go oh yeah unemployment rate in principal plus subsidiary then we have 
अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट रेट फॉर करेंट वीकली स्टेटस ओके सो आई होप यू गॉट इट वाई वाई आई मेड दिस वीडियो सो यस सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल बी सींग हाउ टू मर्ज द डेटा एंड आफ्टर दैट वी विल वन बाई वन मेक ऑल दीज टेबल्स एग्जैक्ट सेम हाउ डू वी हैव मेड एंड देन लेटर ऑन सी वाई आई विल बी मेकिंग दिस टेबल सो दैट यू कैन बी श्योर दैट वॉट एवर यू हैव डन यू हैव डन करेक्टली बी इट मर्जिंग द डेटा be it calculating the data so it it will act as a benchmark that what we, whatever across verification kind of thing right so thank you so much if you learned something valuable from this video please press the like button to make youtube happy if you'd like to support my work and help me keep creating more content you can scan the qr code on the screen a lot of time and effort goes into recording and editing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Till then, stay safe, stay happy.